And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Luton Town facing Burnley. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've given him too much space. A chance to whip it in. Struggling to get it away. Tremendous block. That is a really disappointing effort, goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Cullen. Ian Madsen. Ashley Barnes. There's a slide draw pass. And it's still on. And there it is, the opening goal. The ideal way to start. We'll just take another look at this because the one-two to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Bradley he's given it away A running room in the wide position and the referee sees that as a foul free kick given well straight into the meat of the penalty area and a no-nonsense clearance Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Moving forward effectively. A smart stop here. Keen to take it short here. Lost into the penalty area. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the replay, and they work it well just to change the angle on the cross, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. A level contest, 1-1. One, one.
promising sequence. Has a go. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, great read there to intercept. Barnes. And space to cross it. Will he finish? Well, it might still work out for them. Can he get the shot off? Nicely blocked. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. And intercepted it. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Promising looking ball. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. He has time to play it over. And keeper's ball. He made it look as though it was never in any doubt. They certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. It was certainly the most important. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But then there's still plenty to do afterwards. You have to say it's a really nice finish just to guide it into the net. That's a lovely goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Number 10, Ashley Barnes, to be replaced by number 9. Getting in there to intercept. And the counter looks on here, options available. They need to get bodies back. Teammates in the middle, and the danger still on. Nakamba. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. But he's gone short with it. Now delivering that deep cross. Still not clear. Great pressure to win the ball back. And thwarted there following the cross. And a timely intervention. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Jay Rodriguez. With the owner of the blue card registration... Mbanzu. Well, visionary passing. Save, but still a chance. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. Here it is now, a substitution. Goodmanson. Ian Madsen. And do they have it in them to level this? Gives it a go! And the keeper did more than enough. 
Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. Can he finish them off? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And deliver towards the back post. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Number four, Tom Goodmanson. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And the short option preferred. Forced into the penalty area. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, let's take another look because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy it's a lovely goal and there it is the final whistle and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt and attached, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.